Our next speaker, Mr. N. S. Fidai, an ex-banker with 15 years experience as a practicing technical analyst, trainer and a mentor with 30 years of market experience. He pioneered conversions of moving averages, a different approach to using multiple moving averages. He has been conducting analysis that works a training program and trained 1000 plus students in the art of technical analysis. He has mentored and is mentoring more than 125 students. He is one of the most respected names in the Indian trading and investing community. May I please request Mr. Pidai to kindly take over. everyone and welcome to another session of this e 2021 today we have a guest who has maybe uh, i mean among the traders and investors i know the maximum amount of experience which can which is possible in the market he has been in the market since almost 1990 and this is his 31st year in the market he has seen all ups all downs all bull markets all bear markets whatever the title given by Media, Harsh uh, Mehta run the KT, Ketan Parekh run the Lehman Brothers uh, crash and all those he has seen and traded them and uh, he is still uh, surviving in the market which is a proof that uh, he has some edge in the market which is extremely useful and uh, without much delay I would introduce uh, Mr. N.S. Vidai who is quite a well-known personality in social media as well as those who have been uh, in touch with him I mean he is uh, one of the legends in the stock market and uh, welcome Mr. Fidai and uh, over to you. Thank you Abhijit and uh, thank you for such kind words and uh, you know means uh, you have literally put me on the sky but uh, let's uh, like you know as we all know market is the biggest uh, you know player here uh, there is nobody who is bigger than market so I always believe like you know you can uh, uh, just be a learner every time and market will teach you a new lesson every time. My uh, you know, means uh, I would like to begin this session with, uh, uh, you know, means one, this uh, quote that I would say is key, uh, market teaches you uh, the lessons uh, that you don't want to learn, but uh, those are necessary for you to survive. Important thing is to, you that you don't uh, take that lesson in such a way that you are thrown out of the market, rather uh, you know, try to survive. And the whole purpose of this whole, uh, you know, uh, my uh, presentation is, how to not get trapped so i think uh, that will help lots of uh, traders uh, mostly right and even long term investors sometimes they get trapped if they don't know when to exit but uh, this will be mostly useful for people who would like to uh, you know trade and uh, you know mean sometimes uh, uh, they are stuck on fno side and they get uh, you know uh, this uh, huge uh, margin calls and all that so to avoid those kind of things uh, and uh, it will define a stop loss in advance. So let's see. Uh, and just one like thing I uh, say, before you start, before you yeah. start your presentation, just one thing. Yeah. If you can just briefly, within maybe half a minute, uh, tell us how you started in the market. I mean, everyone has a different, interesting story. How uh, they were got introduced in the market see, and uh, like, then on the journey. Like 31 years ago, when I joined bank DCB, right? I was uh, into that. It was a cooperative bank at that time, and I joined and. Like somehow, I don't know, means uh, people around me were doing lots of IPOs and we are talking about 1990. Okay, so you know what was that period? That was pre Arshad Mehta. And uh, yeah. it was very obvious like everybody would get sucked into it. And I got sucked into it much earlier because of my entry into the banking sector and, uh, you know, my colleagues uh, being into that. Then technical analysis came out as though like, you know, it was a different ball game altogether. Like I had left the bank and then I think the story is very well known, uh, most of the people know, but at least for people who are new and don't uh, know me or maybe don't have, haven't read about me. So I can tell a little that, uh, you know, a friend of mine, when I left the bank, I like you know, I had been overseas and came back within a very short time. I, uh, I would say rather uh, I did not make money, but I came with my self-respect back. That was the main important thing for me. So uh, then I planned that I would never uh, work, right? So the purpose was if I'm not supposed to work, then I had some capital uh, uh, stuck in stocks and all that. 
So one of the friends told me like, you know, technical analysis you should do. And he gave me the CD of Metastock. And that's how the whole story started. And uh, it was a painful journey. Market taught me lots of lessons. I don't have a formal guru in such a way, but I call losses as the biggest, uh, you know, uh, teacher of mine. Uh, they have taught me a lot. I have tried to use almost each and every tool available on Metastock during those period. And, uh, you know, I realized that not everything works. Very few things work. And uh, you need to, uh, you know, become a master of few rather than uh, everything. So that's how, like, you know, I evolved. And while I was doing that, uh, I don't know, means it's all destiny rather right now, if I think uh, in that way, Vijay that um, Nuresh and a uh, few of his cousins, basically Nuresh is my nephew, so I usually quote him everywhere and uh, he quotes me everywhere because Mama Banja um, Dekma mein karne wale te jab uspe hone wala tha. So, yeah. wo, inseparable markets mein, you can say in that sense. And second thing is that when he was sitting he was trying to uh, you know, uh, learn from me at that time because he was on a break uh, from his college, right? And uh, uh, a few of his cousins, that is again my nephews only, and a cousin of mine. So almost four or five people used to sit together. And that's how I became like, you know, while learning, I became a teacher unknowingly. It was, it was predestined, you can say serendipitious, whatever you want to say. And uh, finally, what happened is uh, then somebody from their circle, like, you know, Nuresh and his friend circle, approached me that uh, he would like to learn from me. So that's how my journey started. And that's how I became, you can say, the trainer, mentor. Uh, and you know the whole process is now longer chalte ja raha hai. So maybe uh, thousand plus people must have learned. I have not kept the count ever. And uh, maybe 150 kind of you know mentees are there at the moment uh, who are uh, who have already undergone the program. But it's an ongoing program, so it's a lifetime of association with them. So I don't leave my people so easily. And that's how like you know you know once we got connected see each other also <laughs> that's yeah. the old way of you know right <laughs> so that's how it is so and that's how we have evolved right we are that kind of human being so yeah that's my story i think um, that's what i would say means uh, people would like to know a little bit about me so this is uh, me right yeah, Ajit, the, i think that should be uh, in terms of uh, Participating in the market, uh, of course, you are into long-term investing as well as based on charts. But do you also do short-term right. trading in terms of FMO? Yes, Abhijit, uh, like, you know, uh, seriously, like, uh, in beginning when we started doing FNO market was very small. Then uh, there was too much of, like, you know, and I had burnt my fingers long time back in Vaida market. And that was, uh, like, uh, long time back before the, uh, you know, futures and options actually evolved as we see right now. So I was a bit on edge with the FNO side, but I used to make very good, uh, you know, calls on uh, small cap, mid cap, breakouts and all that. And we used to make 20, 40 percent, like, you know, in a single call kind of thing. So uh, like uh, in 2000, 2008 and all those period when we were doing actually practicing, uh, rather not 2000, but uh, 2008 and 2004, I started. So 2008 and 12 and all that period, people were like, you know, calling us the this thing, uh, team, uh, small cap, mid cap, you know, breakout kings kind of, me and Nuresh basically. So that's how, like, you know, I somehow uh, was a little skeptical about putting my money on FNO and trading in FNO. But uh, after doing this mentoring program, I, uh, you know, uh, because there is a need, people want to learn. So I do know all these things I do. Uh, so what we did is uh, to evolve. You know, overcome this uh, problem of sitting in front of screen throughout the day, which I don't like. I would like to, you know, uh, rather uh, I would say value my time more than to sit in front of screen and keep on doing that. And so what we have done is we have uh, made a platform right now, uh, which is uh, in the process of being, you know, finished product uh, will be launching soon with my mentees, uh, two of my mentees. Uh, we have developed the algo trading platform. So right now we are in beta testing and it's doing very well, seriously to tell you the truth. And uh, we have generated uh, a fantastic kind of around 6% per month kind of return in last uh, five months kind of uh, on, uh, you know, futures trading. 
on a very nominal capital of 10 lakh rupees so and uh, we don't trade many lots we trade very limited lots and we are doing well so yes uh, i do trade but not uh, uh, like you know manually it's all automated okay so let's start your presentation now what have you right right yeah right okay so uh, yeah so this uh, like you know as i already said this is a presentation about uh, what do you call uh, how to not get run out by breakouts because it's ipl uh, sorry t20 season right now so we thought i thought like you know this kind of uh, uh, you know title would be uh, more apt at this moment so we use that right so basically it's about uh, uh, we'll try to see what are the patterns where usually people get trapped first thing so uh, let's see this right so so this is called an head and shoulder pattern i have just given an example here some samples right some examples so uh, people can understand what is a head and shoulder who are totally uninitiated totally new people already know they don't have to worry so this is just uh, like you know uh, this is uh, on the left side you have head and shoulder which is a bearish pattern on the right side you have inverse or inverted head and shoulder which is a bullish pattern right and this is what it looks like so basically that is one then you have cup and handle pattern most of you would be coming across that so and you must have come across this terminology often right so this is a simple cup and handle uh, pattern where uh, you know the uh, price movement looks like full round and then a small round in uh, so basically the uh, the right side uh, hand is called a handle round and uh, this one is called a cup for the simplest reason uh the cup is supposed to be deeper as we usually know and the handle has to be smaller so that's how it it got its name and uh, you know this is one pattern which actually frustrates lots of people because before it gives a breakout uh, there are multiple uh, you know false breakouts in most of the patterns in cup and handles head and shoulders uh, triangles or pennants that we see here so these are again uh, like you know patterns which give multiple false breakouts So our purpose is to see like you know first to understand what patterns we are supposed to see and where we should apply this whole system right then you have channels again channels are nothing but uh, price moves in a uh, you know means a sideways uh, pattern it can go in uh, it could be a uh, you know rising uh, channel also or descending channel just i have taken an example of channel so in this case look at this uh, every time when it hits the top or the bottom there could be a possibility of a false breakout or a false breakdown in both the cases even in rising and falling ones also so you know the reason why I'm, why, why i'm showing this is ki uh, we know that which are the patterns we are supposed to work with now let's try to see how the breakouts look like right those are those are the actual patterns that were happening and now this is the actual price movement that happened with you know uh, candles and all that so see so this head and shoulder beautifully like you know this is a classical head and shoulder and uh, uh, if you see this there was a small false breakdown here then this actual breakdown happened so uh, you know people get trapped when the second shoulder happens so this is one thing second thing you can see same thing here like uh, you know a false breakout and then the breakout happened so uh, like you know uh, this is how the uh, the game is played around in markets look at this this is a huge cup and a handle this was atul limited and look at this how it went up and it kept on going up it has become a multi bagger since then right but uh, this is what the cup and handle looks like uh, so and this is how the breakout looks like right so, then there is a triangle here right and this is jubilant food and it was a breakout kind of i'll go a little slow so people can view it at least to, to get an understanding of uh, you know means how the patterns will uh break down or break or no look at this it gave a breakdown then reverse then again break uh, then again went up and i tried tested but uh, the trend line uh, did not allow the price to go up in a way and the stock fell from there and then channels look at this channels usually look uh, like you know they can be a long term kind of flag you can say a channel is nothing but a huge flag which consumes very long time right and uh, look at this so many touch points here and then after that what happened uh, once it gave a breakout it achieved the target again retested then fell back again so uh, basically you would see some unusual thing here like i'm showing you channels but here is a inverted cup and handle which i have not shown earlier so you know this was unplanned but it came into the play right so uh, markets uh, like you know you will see hundreds of patterns every day on every chart so if, if you uh, like look at charts you will be able to see most of the thing right what i'm trying to show so this is uh, like you know your descending channel and a breakdown from there 
right so these are major major like you know uh, patterns and i have shown you some examples now let's see how false breakouts happen right on those same patterns and how the uh, like how you can see now look at this this is a false breakout here right and then the stock fell down substantially like it broke the previous bottoms and everything so to you know be protecting in this area is very important if you get trapped here you can uh, lose big money and if, if you don't know when to exit and if you exit too deep also many times what i have seen people keep very deep stop losses seriously that could erode your capital it does like the more you uh, you know means have a smaller stop loss i would say more chances you are giving your money to work for you like i believe in uh, like you know uh, making your money work more uh, helps you and it also gives you more chances of uh, you know getting a right trade now people somehow are so much enamored i think abhijit when uh, you would agree with me is uh, people uh, like to have a good success ratio my concept is a bit different i believe in having a good risk reward ratio even if i fail maybe seven uh, seven times out of 10 uh i should lose nominal money and when i win i should make so much that you know those seven losses would be just negligible for me it's like uh, let's say if you are taking one is to uh two risk reward ratio and if you lose seven times and you won't win time only three times you would be still losing only one person that is a theoretical aspect right but uh, just imagine if you can um, uh, uh, you know means uh, if it is one is to two plus right anything two plus and you will be breaking one and uh, beyond two and a half and three you will be actually you know making money for yourself so it's not important that you succeed as many times so most of the uh, traders and you know people uh, watch out and keep on asking for you know means uh, success ratio across and i believe rather than success ratio find a good pattern uh, you know and give yourself uh, opportunities like here in this case suppose you got trapped you lost money on the long side and then again like you know this made an attempt but did not cross so there was no issues and then it gave finally a breakdown right if you see there was a false breakdown also here this was a false breakdown and then again it reverses and then again so you know you would get so many times trapped so it is very obvious it's part of the game to get trapped but to know when not to you know when to exit is more important and it shouldn't be too deep like if you lose too much money on every trade around 7 to 8 percent 10 percent or you don't uh, you know uh, give yourself a good chance to make money right so it is very important that you spread out your trade so i would say uh, over multiple uh, you know your money uh, in multiple trades one thing second keep stop losses small and uh, work with very high risk reward ratio rather like you know don't work with one is to one one is to two kind of thing i have you know means all these concepts which i am talking about when they give breakout or breakdown they would go something like you know one is to 10 15 20 kind of risk reward ratios so that okay. would cover up all your losses you know this is what i am trying to rather you know means with this whole pattern what we are trying to show and tell people is like you know don't worry about uh, losing money just make sure that you lose very small and that's what i do fact, most of uh, just to draw corollary uh, i always uh, use that whenever you go to a hotel to stay i mean when you you book a room if you open the door of the hotel what is there on the behind the door no one sees that mm. the exit right. route in case of a fire right. so that right. exit route is extremely important that is what people should always have an eye on and i think that's why you asked me to do this uh, you know so webinar so uh, like people can benefit uh, like this is the whole purpose is to know where is the exit route when there is a false Absolutely. breakout and that's what we try to achieve with this whole you know presentation uh, let's see right so this yeah. is so like you know this man is happy because he trapped you here and he kept you trapped and you lost big money but uh, let's see how we don't give him money and make money out of this whole pattern right rather saving money is also equally important in market look at this that was previously inverted head and shoulder false breakdown this is in head and shoulder false breakdown it gave a breakdown and reverse okay so uh, you keep an eye like we'll i'll show you how like i'll show all of our viewers also how they can protect right just now what we are trying to see is how the false breakouts happen so this was one false breakdown there was another false breakdown here if you see uh, there were multiple supports here price was not breaking and then it broke finally 
so if you put a trend line you would see there was a breakdown here and then it went up right so this is uh, like if you see charts you will learn a lot i'm telling you uh, people don't want to observe people want you know ready made uh, options people want to go for the screeners so they can throw the you know ready made uh, this thing patterns to them that is probably maybe the uh, future kind of way people will be operating uh, but we are old kind of people and we believe at looking at charts as much as possible right so here i'm showing you head and shoulder and i can see the this false breakout here see this this spike on the top spike on the top you know those kind of thing and look at this there is a spike here if you put the trend line there was a breakdown here and then it reversed right so i could see as many false breakdowns or breakouts whenever i want to see instead of relying on the software right so just now i am proving here see this this spike on the left right then second spike here all were basically to trap people right so people get trapped when it gives a breakout of a zone so uh, same way on the bottom side also they do that here also they did same thing this was a breakdown and then this reverse right so uh, people get trapped so many times and that is the purpose like you know see there is uh, uh, there are no two people actually there are only one person who maybe i would call it as smart money the smart money is job is to make sure that money in your pocket comes in his pocket your job is to make sure that you don't give him too much money okay and you take as much money as possible uh, from maybe you become smart money right so uh, maybe you'll get trapped and there is no harm like see it's it's like you know uh, you are driving on a road and uh, you are going on a long drive and there is some diversion and you took that diversion and maybe the road uh, like you know uh, there is a dead end you can't go ahead so best thing is to reverse right rather than start making the road or think there will be a road one day and i'll go from here so don't do that rather you know uh, reverse get out accept your mistake but keep your mistakes small right when you go on uh, such long drives sometimes even google uh, leaves you in a you know a kind of a difficult situation so ask local people na same way here these are the uh, you know what i'm going to teach you is how the local uh, you know setups can help you right so that is one thing then send look at this this was a false breakout on the top beautiful run up a higher top higher bottom people get trapped like this and then see this what happens then the collapse this is the mother of all collapse we have seen in indian market okay and this was 2008 and this is sensex from 21000 we fell to like what to uh, you know first shot was like crazy and this is 2008 right so uh, very important guys uh, we need to protect our capital and this was first drop and then there was another big drop and you know we lost big kind of capital most of the people and uh, look at this now this was a false move here okay so uh, when you have this kind of false moves so you need to make sure that you don't get trapped there is a head and shoulder pattern here and there is a channel here so there are so many patterns now there is a false breakdown here see this this was the previous low there is a lower low we did not get carried down right it went up from there so how to protect and all that so we'll see right again see this false breakdown this is head and shoulder if you see it it's a pure head and shoulder pattern here and uh, look at this breakdown below the arrow right and then it went up and it went up like crazy people would have got trapped somewhere here also there was a false breakdown so you know there are multiple multiple locations when the operate or the smart money will make sure that they put you on the wrong foot first and it's okay to go on wrong foot but reverse as soon as possible okay now look at this there's a channel and see how the false breakouts happen so people get trapped here right people, like i would uh, anybody would get trapped i would have bought this logically because it was at 1350 odd and then it goes to 1420 and 14 so it's not just nominal uh, you know few rupees up it is fantastic like you know 4 or 5% kind of up so you would get trapped logically so there is nothing wrong get, getting trapped but very important that you know you are making a mistake and you get out right so now how do we avoid false breakout so my before we uh, even look at uh, what i'm going to teach you my very important uh, learning in my you know whole experience is that uh, yeah, you know means you need to trade only when there is a setup don't try to set up uh, you know create a setup on your own when there is none right so most of the time setup will be visible it will be so obvious you don't have to preconceive it okay 
so don't make one when there is none right so i would say that is very very important guys um, all of us should need, need to uh, you know take uh, this as a mantra and live with this mantra right so most of the technical analysts i have come across who are you know means the uh, trying to become better and better uh, for them this mantra will be very very helpful because what happens is uh, uh, i have seen people uh, who see a head and shoulder i'll just go back and i'll show what happens like how people start you know uh, what do you call creating now see this there is a shoulder here there is a uh, you know bottom so we don't know whether this will go into head and shoulder then it makes the head here now once it comes to this now people start assuming this will be head and shoulder and yes it become head and shoulder many it becomes an obvious head and shoulder just imagine you are fighting against somebody who is very smart bigger money than you they jump like he is put off as many right and the more like you know this rally happens because those traders uh, keep on assuming that you know means uh, till it is not gone above this uh, it's still a head and shoulder and let's carry the position and then it does, he doesn't give an opportunity and the uh, major rally the uh, you know the uh, the momentum that you see is created by uh, short sellers who start covering their positions so you would see many times like you know uh, like they do this kind of thing. so this was a head and shoulder which worked right but uh, like people would have assumed this as a triangle also so there is so much of like you know uh, this thing you have to be very clear there are very very basic things which i would say if there are technical analysts who are trying to learn or becoming better uh, you know go with uh, when you see pattern also also work along with one thing i would say is uh, uh, remember dow theory and basic concept of dow theory is uh, higher top higher bottom and lower top lower bottom when stock starts making lower top lower bottom it is the first sign of uh, worry and when it starts making higher top higher bottom it is the first sign of becoming excited because uh, i say like you know you can make money on the bear side short side yes you can make money but uh, that would be very small the maximum return that you can generate when you go short is maybe 90% nothing goes to zero right in markets so rarely like even our com is still alive so you know uh, but uh, on the long side the potential is unlimited so the risk reward ratio is for 100 it is unlimited so seriously like you know bull markets are where you make real big money bear markets are where you know if you are uh, if you are limited capital you don't have much money then you need to stay aside keep sideways or do nothing right maybe get out till the market so uh, i learned from very beautiful uh, concept uh, long time back about the dow theory for this only higher top higher bottom and lower top lower bottom uh, there was one master like i do respect this uh, technical analyst mr vivek patil now he had a presentation he was making a presentation on icic direct customers at that time so it was called like i think i say say securities or direct i'm not sure right now but uh, he was making a presentation and uh, i had gone there and somebody asked him like you know uh, when should we reverse our position like if it's making a lower top lower bottom we said when it starts making higher top higher bottom it was so simple uh, you know answer but it is it is like stuck me like crazy like you just follow simple system and it gives you money so you don't have to have complex systems it is so so simple things like you know actually give you fantastic returns like you know and if you see uh, once you come overcome your problem of you know success ratio and risk reward ratio once you start uh, understanding the concept of uh, making money through higher risk reward ratio rather than going for peanuts kind of returns you would realize that you know there is big money to be made in market and big money comes only in bull markets in bear market yes money comes but that is purely a trading uh, kind of a revenue um, and uh, see i'll tell you uh, you may make money on this breakdown then you may give up money because when it reverses so basically that is another one concept that i have found it uh, you know market works with like uh, when you look at any swing the swing low and swing uh, top right the bottom and the top you cannot make money there you can make money in the trend major money comes in trend and most money is lost here most money is lost here when the stock goes into sideways or like this you know sideways pattern you lose money so you want the stock to trend if it trends it gives you money if it trends it gives you money so these trends are very important if you know how to capture trends and take advantage of it you can make fantastic money look at any chart long term charts also see this the trend was so crazy so big so you could make money and even on the short side like see this this came and then it was so seriously lost and again there was this thing 
so uh, like trading gives you money but it also takes other money okay so very important that we uh, you know realize this and uh, you know keep all the small small pointers in uh, basically this was uh, unplanned but i do some improv to kind of you know trainings because being a trainer for such a long time uh, moment you get uh, an opportunity to teach i come i somehow cannot uh, you know keep myself to myself i somehow you know or or flow with uh, whatever i can give back to people the community and that's what i do right so uh, maybe that will help now the pointers what you need to see Uh, always watch out for the breakout candle when if it's a breakout candle so any candle that has given a breakout the bottom of that the low of that price uh, that candle right you need to remember so breakout we are talking about upside you know the breakout on the upside and if the breakout is on the downside then high of that candle is the most important uh, point you should remember the like this price you should remember moment the price goes beyond this it is a failure i'll show you many charts many examples so just remember this the breakout candle is the pointer that you need to remember all of you like whenever there is a breakout on the upside the candle that has given the breakout okay that candle uh, low of that candle is the point you remember and keep it as you know just note down that is your sl okay that's the simplest easiest and this is the most uh, you know powerful tool which we are going to work with all others most of you must be using like pattern trend line breakdown you all must be using but still i have put it out here for uh, you know the people who uh, are not aware of it or people would like to uh, most of the technical analysts when the pattern breaks down logically they will exit right then avoid trading first to breakout so mostly like in case of head and shoulders or inverted head and shoulders or cup and candles so you'll see that it gets stretched over a period of time so that stretching part you know usually gives you false breakouts so that would be like you know if you keep aside and just watch you know that will help you so sometimes uh, people ask okay how much should we wait here the question is how long should one wait for uh, you know if the breakout happens and then it can go it can run away also right so yes it is very much possible it can run away but uh, mostly with my experience what i have seen is rarely the stocks run away uh, like if it's a very strong resistance then it will not run away right so it will reverse from there so it would give a false breakout so maybe 2 3% kind of you know wait for the price to go beyond that percentage before you think of getting into it but still it could be a trap so you know um, first candle don't get into it second candle maybe Uh, like you know if it's about 2 to 3 percent and beyond then you can make a take a bet but your stop loss then becomes much deeper right so that you have to now uh, some people use moving averages they use 10 and 20 but these are like you know very deep stop losses seriously i wouldn't be very comfortable unless uh, you believe that this stock has a potential to do uh, 10x from that point and you are okay with losing 10 15 percent then it is fine otherwise you should not right then 3 to 5% stop loss now if you take 3% stop loss or 5% stop loss just imagine what you want is the stock to move 10x or 5x so 15 to uh, like you know uh, 30% is what you want or uh, you know uh, you want is so what uh, uh, in case of 5 you want the stock to do at least 25 to 50 now that is crazy kind of expectation like you know uh, in bull markets everything will be uh seen but in other markets in normal sideways trending mark uh, non trending market these are not possible right uh, this kind of moves don't happen often so you cannot expect huge moves like 10 uh, you know 10x 20x 50x in bull markets uh, right now people are so drunk on uh, you know bullishness like today was a bit of uh, eye opener uh, like i am talking about today's date uh, so today markets fell uh, somewhat around 200 points on nifty and seriously brought uh kind of like you know some people to their senses but it is just a little like you know people are yet to get the hit big time so you know when that happens uh, like people need to start uh, you know taking care of it. now here i have mentioned 3 to 5% stop loss as per risk appetite now this is very important now 3 to 5% on you know your whole capital is a uh, uh, like you know big number but if you split your capital into 10 parts and then take uh, 5% risk on every part you are giving 10 chances to yourself so that is that is why i have used this 3.3 to 5% stop loss and as per risk appetite so if your capital is 10 lakh rupees and you are trading 1 lakh per 
trade then you are ready to lose 5000 rupees that is what we are talking about or 3000 rupees so you know uh, then based on that only you need to buy as many shares so if it's 1 lakh rupees and the shares is like you know 500 rupees you cannot buy a big quantity right because if you want to lose only uh, let's say 5% and 5% of 1 lakh is uh, 5000 now 500 rupees uh, 5 5% will be you know uh, 5000 rupees will be almost 10% loss you are you can take in a way so uh, like you know i would prefer to buy as nearer to the support before i you know uh, give a like you know or sell nearer to the resistance so that my stop losses are as low as possible right so uh, these are small small things that people can learn from these small things now let's see actually how these things work out right so i have put some stocks that i have you know uh, found them to be like this was as of yesterday so i uh, we'll, we'll see on the stock uh, like you know uh, the thing software itself and how it behaves right so let's start with bharti maybe because that's one name that came up now look at bharti etel now if you look at this this was a break uh, you know major drop and then stock made a lower low here if you look at this now if this was low as per like you know big drop and then there is a new low now this new low is a fresh breakdown because it bounced from there after the bounce there is a fresh breakdown here now look at this if this breakdown now this candle is very important okay what is a candle high because this is a breakdown on the downside even it is a uh, like you know breakdown of moving a red 200 demo but we will not be looking at it rather we will be looking at uh, the uh, you know means uh, this low so this low was 521 and this low is 514 now what is the high of this candle 532 right so remember whenever the 532 is crossed that means this was probably a false breakdown now uh, I don't know what happened to uh, Bharti Airtel today. Uh, can we have some price or uh, is it possible to check price, uh, Abhijit? And you can tell me what was today's uh, high, low kind of, uh, of Bharti Airtel. So one thing is sure, see this 532 has been crossed again, 532 has been crossed. What we need is a little more upside, maybe 1% above. And you would say this is a false breakdown, then the stock would go up. So uh, let me see whether we can check. Uh, the high was 531, low was 519. So it is still in the zone, right? It has, even though markets have fallen huge, it has not moved at all. It is still in the zone. It is trading in this in pattern. Way, yeah. So now, when you, one thing is very clear that, uh, you know, a breakout above 532 would be your, uh, you know, uh, this thing indication of going upwards and break down below this will continue this pattern. It will be a continuation of the breakdown, right? So because this was broken down, then this is a sideways kind of thing and uh, you know means it, it made a small false move and then reverse from there so look at this uh, next day it did uh, reverse made a green candle and then continued to stay so this is what is very important like uh, we'll see some other uh, candles also with some other patterns also right so yeah what is the other stock i think we have bajaj finance right Yeah, if you look at this Bajaj Finance, uh, right? Uh, now look at this. I am putting a trend line here, okay? This is where the breakdown happened. Now this candle actually came below, right? If you look at this, this was a candle that broke down. And look at it. It stayed in that zone. Now the high of this candle is very important. If that is violated on the upside, 4,909, it got violated next day itself, right? There was no breakdown continuation here, 4,686. This was 4,707. Now look at this, also this breakdown. If you look at this, now see how the uh, smart money traps you. Look at this now, 4,686. What is this? 4,666. But what happened? This candle low, uh, sorry high was violated this day itself so if you saw this violation you have to exit your positions even if you are short because you you went short logically you were like you know this was a breakdown from the uh you know trend line then another big one breakdown was from the previous low if you look at this it looks like cup and handle inverted right there's a 
inverted cup and handle and there was a breakdown and what happened the candle was violated here this candle violated and next day itself like look at this how the stock went up so this is very important now look at this now this is the top 5303 right and look at this top now uh, so this candle actually crossed that if you look at it this was the candle that crossed 5303 now the low of this candle will become an important point what is the low 5174 when was it breached on this day look at this from this day onwards it fell so much yeah. so this is the beauty of this whole concept how you can protect yourself from such a false move right so you need to just practice first uh, you know the false uh, uh, first to understand where is the breakout look at the patterns learn patterns well now look at this uh, this was 3519 i'm just taking one stock and i can show you so many examples so this was not a false breakout if you see this was 3519 uh, you would say this is not a false breakout right now let's look at the trend line now and you will realize that it had given a break breakout if you if you use this trend line this this candle gave the breakout the low of this candle was violated or was it not violated 3278 yes it got violated then they did what now you have two options here one is this candle uh, low has been broken but this candle high look at this now you have a breakout and a failure right this was a failure you exited because next day or on this candle it gave a reversal now look at this exactly the top of this 3390 reverse next day itself immediately yeah. Yeah. immediately so if you got if you lost money here look at the money you could make i'm not saying everybody will make so much money you can use multiple ways then you have multiple you know systems to make money but uh, here it is all about how to protect right so that is what I'm trying to show. In one chart, I could show so many examples. Uh, let's see Dr. Reddy's. Now look at this, Dr. Reddy's. Clear cut breakdown of the pattern. It's clearly visible, right? Now high of this candle, this candle gave the breakdown. Now your stop loss is very much defined, 4462. If it crosses above 4462, then, you know, uh, your stop loss is crossed right now here it has not done yet it is to cross and sustain right so it has not happened moment it will do then it will be a false breakdown here else it will be continuation so simplest thing you are already short you know that any you know crossover beyond this is your violation and you should exit moment it again goes down below this maybe it will be continuation of a uh, you know false uh, this thing pattern and it will become the fall right it will be continuation of the fall so these are very small things that one needs to know see i think here also if you see four six seven nine was the low and this is four six five seven right and look at the high point of this candle four eight double one it crossed on this four eight double one and see what happened it closed above four eight double one four eight two eight and it went up so this is like you know um, somewhat uh, this is something that you can keep an eye on uh, like everybody knows how to get out of uh, a pattern with trend line breakdown and all that, but very important to understand when will it be a false breakdown, right? Look at this. Uh, if you look at uh, this pattern here, this was kind of a triangle here, and this this candle gave the breakdown. It continued. This gave the reversal. And look at this. Once it there was a reversal, stock never went below. Now you have defined space of your own. Uh, two stop losses one on the if this is going down then there is a continuation if it goes above this then there is a continuation look at this so it is it is like you know uh, it's beautiful kind of concept i can show you many many charts let's see uh, let me know what time do we have and uh, i will try to you know uh, yeah another five minutes possible. okay okay so we'll try to take as many examples like i have tried to show many examples from single chart also yeah in fact with your trade I, I, you just need to show one chart you will have 10 examples on the same chart yeah 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 because so many right you know means look at this now now your stop loss is clearly defined any close above this and any like continuation is here now one more thing if you look at this this is 140 right look at this now 141 so still yet to break down from this point but has broken the trend line so from the trend line point of perspective 
you want it to go above this so that there is a like you know this is your stop loss you can just define your stop loss beyond this so 148 maybe if it closes above 148 done or even if it crosses for maybe uh, one to two hours three hours chart then you can shift this whole concept into the shorter time frame maybe go to intraday charts one hour two hour kind of time frame and see how many hours it has stayed below and uh, you know uh, beyond this how many hours it will stay above moment it does that it is clear cut like you know you have been trapped here if it is falls right now right look at this here uh, this candle was a if you look at the top this was a false breakout right then what happened the low of this candle 147.50 it got violated on third day one two three third day right so 147.50 and look at this then it has broken so this top you exited moment it broke below this so you know you can protect your capital as many times as possible with the you know means uh, just knowing what to do now this is at uh, dfc life rising tl falls right now let's see what is at dfc life trying to tell us all right So see this now is it trying to break down this is the candle that is trying to create a breakdown here it is yet to happen what i have just tried to show here is there is a possibility there would be a breakdown but if it is a breakdown and if it turns out to be false then you know which candle high you know this candle high because this is the one that broke down so you know this moment you know this you are protected again if you put this trend line maybe from here also so i think it is the same candle that comes into play So it is the same candle. So this high is your stop loss. If you are thinking of going short in HDFC Life, maybe I don't know what was today's price, but if you uh, this above this, you would keep a stop loss, and you can continue with your short trade. If it violates, then you know when to exit also, and it will allow you to come back into the trade very fast. So for traders, it is very important. Look at this now. Uh, this point here, 674 was the peak. Then you had 676, right? And then you had this false move. 688 the low of 688 was violated next day what was the low 661 violated on next day 658 fell down yeah you know when so uh, if you know just if you watch any false moves it will catch and it will tell you like you know ki ye ek simple system I use kar lije. it will protect you look at this now this is 539 let's see 54080 can you see this this is a false move look at this 539 and it's it's like you know v and a v or you can call it as a uh rather a cup and handle which is a v v v kind of thing right rather than u and a u and a u right yeah so if you look at this now 54080 the low of this was 511.75 now look at this got violated next uh, uh, one day later and see then it went down right so you know means uh, you know now this was a false move this was the low this was a false move it never went below rather next day it got violated and it went up so if, if you get trapped see if you are making a small loss maybe a small loss here but look at the profits you could get if you know when to get out when to enter right it's as simple as that and um, let's see maybe uh, some other stock maybe itc yeah uh, because lots of people want to see itc <laughs> It's the flavor of the market at the moment. Everybody is talking about ITC. Now look at this. Now this is a low, right? Can you see? It's a beautiful kind of uh, head here, shoulder, multiple shoulders on the right, left side and one shoulder on the right side. If you look at the neckline, I can draw this. Like this is the lowest point, right? If you see this, 196.90. Yeah. Uh, so that, that is very far away. Now it is useless for us, right? We cannot use this horizontally. Now let's try to put the trend line and see what happens. Uh, So this is your neckline this gives the breakdown next to day itself it got violated the upside okay so your stop loss is now defined now you want to take next trade on the short side below this upside above this so it's already gone it's it's violated your and it was a false move so you can you can see this now here also same thing at the bottom 163.80 
165.45 a lower low right next day no violation crossed above the previous candles high 165.95 crossed 165.25 closed next day and see this so the amount of money that you can make from this kind of patterns could be crazy even if you lose two times in a wrong way like let's say here see this this was 166.15 made a lower low of 163.80 now high of this is 166.80 that was ha that happened second day failed right went up then again came down made a lower low then it was again a trap so one trap second trap both traps were false and see this this is what happened so you know means if you, even if you go wrong uh, just follow the system the system actually works beautifully look at this now the top here it was same top or lower top uh, let's say this 201.95 then you had uh, almost uh, 20170 so this was not a breakout right but this was a clear cut breakout 207 the lowest of that is 200 200 broke down next one day later and see this just imagine the amount of money that you could protect like you know you wanted to go long maybe as a just pure simple trader investor whatever positional trader and you, if you are like you know then people don't sell itc because yaar, ye to sona hai. you know to sona kabhi kabhi yes bank bhi ban jata hai sona kabhi kabhi india bull housing ho jata hai pc jeweler ho jata hai you need to be very very careful <laughs> like you know you'll never know in market uh, where you will get shot from right so it's very important that you protect yourself and uh, you know i think uh, uh, this was a beautiful kind of uh, you know means uh, i people must have enjoyed there are so many stocks people could have looked but uh, remember the date i think today's date is uh, well, i don't trade so well uh, 16th march this was made so you can uh, watch charts of uh, you know end of day basis daily charts of 16th march for all these names and you can uh, like i have mentioned somewhere where it's a false breakout question mark right or where it is actually a false breakout and reversal so people can now practice along with this charts right so they can go to this multiple stocks and they can practice minimum at least what i have taught they would be able to see there now very important here what are the pros and cons of the system of you know uh, remembering the next candle uh, or the uh, like you know the low of the breakout candle or the high of the breakdown candle you know, just remember this low of breakout candle and high of breakdown candle. Those are your stop losses. Just remember this much only. Okay, so what does it do? It helps you define a stop loss in advance. Protects erosion of capital. Traders will find it most useful rather, but I would say even investors can uh, take advantage of it. But understand there is no holy grail. So this doesn't work 100% of time. But as I told you, so if there is no holy grail, how do you give your chances, yourself more chances? Why? you know, uh, going for uh, rather than, you know, uh, risk reward ratio, then worrying about the success ratio. So if you give yourself multiple chances, you will not see that, uh, you know, means uh, beyond three to four times the smart money will try to fool you. So your success ratio would be 60% in most of the cases. So that is fantastic. But uh, what I'm trying to say, even if you go wrong, you know, don't worry, continue with your trades and don't try to trade uh, uh, you know, every other stock, try to trade stocks which are highly, you know, means I would say uh, liquid and where there is too much of participation. Avoid stocks where there is uh, less participation or less liquidity because uh, then uh, there is no chance of exits only uh, many times because if it's illiquid, you will not get a chance of exit. So um, make sure that you don't uh, trade in those kind of stocks. And uh, when there is no holy grail, that is, there are only probabilities. So give yourself chances. The probabilities of like, you know, 40% uh, is good enough. But if you get 60%, it will be crazy for you. And most important, like I usually say, like, you know, whatever you learn, you need to practice before you start getting into the market and putting your money on the line. Don't do that, you know, uh, rather, uh, I would say, uh, you know, first practice, do paper trade, after paper trading, do a little small, you know, kind of actual trade. Paper trade need not be always like, you know, for a few months. You can do it for a few days just to get the hang of it, right? Once you have got the hang of it, once you understand it, then, uh, you know, start working with nominal capital, then increase the capital. Once you gain the confidence, then scale up. So system should be like this. It should not be like, you know, day one, you want to become billionaire. See, if you want a multi-bagger, you have to wait for a few years, right? Same way, 
for at least few months in this current bull market but at least you have to wait you have to stick with your stock so that is very important in in same way in your life also you are the multi bagger so give yourself enough chances right that i would say and this is something that i keep on saying no capital no capital capital markets and the whole uh, presentation was based on this only try to preserve your capital the more you preserve the better for you right so yes abhijit i hope uh, i have you know means uh, done justice to your choice of you know you, uh, bringing me on the board and uh, you know giving me an yeah, opportunity absolutely in fact uh, problem is it is some, something so simple that uh, people will say that this can be how can something be so simple but uh, like you and me know and anyone who has spent uh, at least 5 8 years in the market knows that uh, only simple things make money complicated things don't make money isn't it yes sir. so you can contact uh, me on this way point out more is uh, whenever you have a failure of a pattern uh, which uh, yeah, yeah. you have rightly said is a trap that more mm-hmm. often than not that gives a very big move in the other direction <laughs> yeah because that's where the trap is the trap is to trap people right the more people get so trapped why, the bigger the run will happen why i mentioned yes, it was it is a head and shoulder uh, trap which has failed people get biased that this mm-hmm. is a head and shoulder pattern okay fir se niche aayega and then they then they don't uh-huh. trade the other pattern other uh, uh, right. failure right Yeah. agree absolutely and uh, it's a, like logical hum log kitne saalon se we are looking at charts and i have a habit like you won't believe me and my students we look at charts like you know thousands of chart in a day like uh, for me nuresh or maybe many of my mentees also right now who are already done the program they can see all the charts in maybe 3 hours for me and nuresh it takes around one and a half hours it's all about practice the yeah. more you see you don't have to so much time to them right it, it is like you know you are leaving those charts so you know each and every one uh, like you know one and one to one so it becomes right. more easier like yeah. uh, like let's say i'll give you a small example before we close it uh, like i met you today or you meet somebody today how much would you give that person even if it is in, he is in a suited booted way how much money can you give him if he is asking for self help maybe 500 1000 but can you give him 20000 50000 rupees Mm-hmm. you want right you want uh, you may give 500000 rupees maybe you know uh, the person looks genuine and maybe will return the money and you give it uh, you think of it as a charity but imagine now if you know me and i know you for like like 20 years now we can ask each other for like you know if you need help uh, then we can ask just think about now we are friends maybe still there will be some inhibition now think about your younger brother if he is there and he ask you for large sum you would give it blindly right why because you know the person same way more the charts you see regularly you see that person that chart becomes your you know known person it becomes your yes, family yes. kind of it's very good example is also and that's why i encourage people doing you know speed analysis looking at as many charts as possible the more you see the better like they they speak to you and you need to actually learn their language so more you interact with them they will speak to you. Yeah, this is this is really fantastic. I mean, the example which you give is it just really hits you. If if you have uh, seen maybe a stock, the maybe the chart for the first time, you don't even know the chart. I mean, the, I I know a very uh, good friend who is a uh, in the market for a very long time. He used to say, "Har ek stock ki chal hoti hai." So right, once you know the chal, that is important. Thank you, Mr. Fidai, and uh, this was a brilliant session. And uh, definitely, we hope that uh, people will benefit from no, no, no. the simplicity of uh, understanding charts. Thank you so much, and I also enjoyed interacting with you. And uh, you know, it is uh, it is a pleasure to meet you and interact always. So, uh, thank you for the opportunity, and let's hope people take uh, good advantage of this strategy. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Most welcome. Bye bye.